Hey folks, I'm Andre and I'm head of League Studio. I'm here again today to talk about some of the things we'll be focusing on in 2024 for Wild Rift. First though, we wanted to take a moment and thank all of you who've been on this journey so far with us. We believe we've made some great progress over this year with our gameplay changes, you know, adding new runes, different build paths, new modes to play like the addition of Arena and Ultimate Spellbook ARAM. Oh, actually Ultimate Spellbook minus the ARAM too. And this coming year, you'll see us continue making improvements like those to gameplay patch over patch, and I can't wait for you all to see the stuff we're working on. Now, in addition to gameplay, we also want to bring you deeper and richer experiences out of game. A key part of that is our new approach to storytelling. Since its release, Wild Rift has been part of League of Legends' biggest storytelling moments, like Arcane Season 1 and the Sentinels of Light event. Our characters and lore across our different games and experiences haven't always felt completely cohesive, however. We've had some inconsistencies in important details, which can make it harder to get really invested in our characters and the world they live in. To fix that, as we announced a couple of months ago, future storytelling in the League of Legends universe will be part of one shared canon. That should help us create thematically richer experiences for you all in Wild Rift. So keep your eyes peeled for events, champions, and more things that will help unify the world of Runeterra. We want to make sure Wild Rift is a great place for you to dive into, to enrich your experience with the League of Legends universe. We'll be looking to revisit some existing League stories, and even expand on them where it makes sense to do so. Now, speaking of storytelling, we know many of you have been waiting for the sequel to Runeterra's hottest tale of two cities, Arcane. Watch the space for release dates and more info soon. But as a little teaser for now, here's a brief sneak peek at some of what's to come. Arcane Season 2 dives deeper into some of the characters we met in Season 1. One of those characters, the Noxian Warlord Ambassa Madara, won't only revisit Piltover, but will also become a permanent champion in Wild Rift. That's not all though. Our last Wild Rift patch of the year will be heavily Arcane 2 focused, with a range of in-game experiences that match or complement the stories, themes and characters from the show. And last, but certainly not least, when it comes to events in general, we've heard your feedback on feeling left out of region-specific events. One of our big focuses this year will be on ensuring that major moments are increasingly shared across the world. We want to reward all of you for the time and care you have invested in Wild Rift. And we're looking forward to delivering new experiences, you know, trying out some new stuff with you this year. Please do continue to share your feedback. It really helps us a lot as we work to keep on getting better with every patch. And as always, I'll see you on the Rift.